Everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Place of Binding of Isaac Atrabith. Plus, I gotta be honest, um, I was originally intending to play more of this game called Hot Lava right now. There might have been, a, well, to be honest with you, the video for Hot Lava probably went up like a week and a half ago. MK2A4WVP. Um, but this is not an indictment of the game itself. I, I played like an hour, uh, 25 minutes of it was on camera. I was having a great time, but I also got, like, extremely motion sick. By the way, we have to take this first so we can protect our spirit hearts. Ooh, no thank you. It's still, like, no thank you, but I'll take it because we're kind of... Unless you give me a battery here, then I might reroll it again. Um, I'm not really complaining about the motion sickness, but I will say motion sickness is the closest I come... Uh, to understanding how colorblind people feel. What a strange comparison, NL. By what possible comparison could that make sense? Well, what do you say to a colorblind person uh, when they tell you they're colorblind? This is not a joke, this is reality. Everybody, well, like every idiot, says exactly the same thing. Oh yeah? What color is this then? They're, they're in disbelief. That you could actually be colorblind. Um, check it out. <laughs> Plus one bomb. Um, that's that's what motion sickness is like. Whenever you're like, hey, I wanted to play a little bit more of this, but for whatever reason the game gave me uh, motion sickness. Uh, people go, lol, get a better stomach, you baby, forehead, ha ha ha. At the same time, if you told those people to get a job, they would say, Excuse me, sir, that's too far. You don't understand the economic conditions that me and my generation have grown up in. Yeah? Well, you don't understand what's going on with my inner ear, okay? You think I... If I was gonna make up a, a malady for attention, there are many that spring to mind that I would go for before worrying about motion sickness. What? Nobody gives you any sympathy for motion sickness. The best you get is, ah, that sucks. What you get most of the time is people being like, yeah, okay, baby. I don't understand, like, if you have motion sickness, you get it. If you don't, you don't. But if you have motion sickness like I do, I, I used to get it really bad. Ignore the beeping, that's just uh, my instant pot tacos carnitas being done. Um, I used to get it really bad when I was driving, or uh, when I was in a car, I should say. If I was the passenger in a car, even if I was not reading, uh, I would get really bad motion sickness. So one of my earliest memories is actually like, when I was a kid, uh, my grandparents and parents took me to Nova Scotia on a road trip. And I remember throwing up um, in like a restaurant bathroom, uh, probably like a truck stop bathroom. Uh, and then, like, I, my dad was in the bathroom with me, which is a weird sentence to say as a 30-year-old man. But I was, like, four or five at the time. Oh, yeah, actually, I was probably six, but... I remember that while I was in the bathroom, this guy uh, next to us was, like, motion sickness, huh? Oh, I'm a doctor, and whenever our patients have motion sickness, uh, we suggest that they drink, like, lukewarm water and I gotta tell you I don't think that guy's really a doctor because I drank some lukewarm water and then um, you know hour or so later had some lukewarm vomit again so I, I'm just here to tell you I don't know if that's actually a prescribable anti-nausea medication but for me personally uh, it did not fit the bill So it's always baffled me that for like my whole life, there's a group of people out there who like getting dizzy. Like they get dizzy for fun. Like you always, what, whenever you think of like a corporate baseball team, you know, they put the, they put their head on the end of the uh, baseball bat. They spin around like 10 times and try to bat and then run. Why is that fun? This is not the traditional, you know, Northern Lion, uh, fun is lame bit. This is like, Sincerely, I just find it very, very uncomfortable. And not uncomfortable in like a haha he fell way. I mean like, it messes me up for like hours. I get, I get sweaty, you know, grumpy. 
Probably shouldn't have taken that yet. It's a bit bit lazy. Hold on, wait on this. This is a great reroll waiting to happen. Depends though. If you give me a guppy item, we probably will not reroll guppy's uh, hairball. If you don't give me a guppy item, that changes things uh, substantially. We'll probably go for the super reroll. It's kind of a weird one because caffeine pill is not bad, but oh, that's uh, I mean, this is just substantially better. <laughs> All right, take me down. But don't worry about me. I got the motion sickness uh, stopper. Lukewarm water? Nah, 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 nah. Lot of cool water? Yeah, 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 yeah. And then playing a game where your camera position doesn't change? Also very helpful. So I should... Uh, get a reroll going for Guppy's head there. We could maybe even squeeze out a second Guppy item. I'm not too worried about our HP. Like, we should... Obviously, I'll tell you what. We should endeavor not to lose it. But, if we're going to try to respawn as uh, Jark Dudas... No, 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 no. Then we might want to... Just see if for now we're kind of at like a pivot point, you know? We don't have to take any more demon hearts. I don't want to ruin our deal with the devil, but we don't have to take any more demon hearts. We can save those demon hearts if, like, per chance, we're able to get a deal with the devil here, kill ourselves via the deal with the devil, come back stronger than ever. Should not have popped before Mob the Void was ready. Very nice. A, a good return there. Uh, definitely Guppy's hairball. I, uh, in most circumstances, I would probably take Void. What? <laughs> the reason I didn't want to is because by taking Void, um, we would lose out on the D6. But, I mean, I gotta take Abaddon. This does compromise our ability to become Dark Judas, but at the same time, it does also give us, you know, a very nice damage and HP bonus in and of itself. We're also one item away from becoming Guppy on the third floor, and we're six minutes into the run. So this is, I'm just gonna take this as like a universal way, like it's the universe's way of apologizing for giving me motion sickness. I always feel bad when I get motion sickness in good games as well, because I'm like... You know, it's not your fault that the game is just... I mean, I get, it is... You had a hand in it, but it's not like you went, ha ha, this'll get him. You know, you made a good game. Probably like 95% of your testers were like, well, this is a great game. And then 5% of your testers are like, it makes me nauseous. What are you supposed to do? As far as I know, there is no known uh, motion sickness cure. You know, you can take Gravol, it helps. Um, and you know, the things people tell you, you know, they're home remedies. They alleviate motion sickness sometimes, they don't totally cure it. Like, just just crank the FOV. It's, it's not a cure-all. It helps, don't get me wrong, it's not a cure-all. Hold on. Guppy? Not guppy, but considering we have to leave anyway. I mean, we could have gotten our uh, battery charged from the shop, I suppose, by finding a secret room maybe or blowing up the donation machine, but varicose veins is okay as well. Especially if we can get, like, Dull Razor. I do have to say, it's not the nausea so much. I don't, I don't mind. I mean, I would prefer not to have it, but nausea has never been... Um, my nemesis, you know what I mean? I think, honestly, when I think back to, to college, this is not something to be braggadocious about, but, you know, we did engage in the imbibing of adult beverages from time to time. Had enough experience with being hungover in college that, uh, just being nauseous, it's a fairly, uh, I don't want to say it's standard, because, you know, eventually I just hit an age where I was like, um, being nauseous is not worth, ha you know, having the fun that we had the night before. It's just like the, the value proposition no longer exists there. Uh, so let's just not. 
Okay, that's a reroll waiting to happen. But I, you know, me and Nausea, for a time, we were old friends. So it's, uh, it's not something that's foreign to deal with. It's more the lingering effects of the motion sickness. Like, it, I think for other people, you know, they get dizzy and they feel weird for, like, I don't know, five minutes, maybe. For people with motion sickness, and I'm not really, like, here's the thing. I don't think it's, like, a real <laughs> disorder. It's just a something that's mildly annoying, right? I, I see motion sickness as, like, you know, being double-jointed or something like that. It's, like, it's not something that you would start, like, a charitable foundation for, but you might complain about it now and then, or you might show it off now and then, although I can't imagine how you would show off motion sickness. But anyway, um... You feel, like, really uncomfortable for, I don't know, the length of time that you're exposed to the stimulus that's giving you motion sickness. And then you have, like, a dizziness hangover for, like, an hour or two afterwards. And it's hard to describe, you know. You're, like, you're hot and, you know, low blood sugar and... Ugh. I mean, I'm feeling it right now. It makes it easier to put myself in those shoes because I'm I'm wearing those shoes presently as we speak. Still crushing the Isaac gameplay, though. If anything, maybe being a little bit motion drunk is uh, is an advantage for us because psychologically we're focusing on that. Instead of focusing on the fact that, you know, we, in the last episode, did lose a streak that I had become attached to. Not, you know, attached at the hip. We are like, attached at, like, the elbow. Not a lot of nerve endings there, except for the funny bone. I don't know if that's true. There might be a ton of nerve endings there. Can I be honest with you? I, I feel like... This I'm setting myself up for OK Boomer here, which is fine. I can live with that. When it, when people say OK Boomer to me, I'm assuming that they're doing it in solidarity because I'm a millennial. I refuse to believe the joke is on me. But uh, so hot lava gave me motion sickness. Um, I, I played Ring Fit Adventure last week, and it gave me tennis elbow. <laughs> I'm not, like, a fragile person. To be honest, it's just a confluence of bad luck. Like, I, I had already been, like, feeling the effects of, uh... I think we'll just reroll that right out of the gate. And now that we're not uh, able to have a reroll, we don't have to go back for doctor's remote. Um, I'd already been feeling the effects of, like, my elbow being tender due to some of the, you know, exercises I've been doing. So I, I looked up, you know, like, how to alleviate that. And it was like, hey, just don't do it for a couple of weeks. And, you know, you, you ruin the risk of the injury getting worse. I was like, okay, no problem. Um, then I got Ring Fit Adventure and had a little bit too much fun playing it on stream. Pushing the, the ring in is not a problem. You know, it uses a different, uh, a different kinematic motion. Um, pulling the ring out exacerbates my... Like, my 2 out of 10 tennis elbow actually became, like, like 9 out of 10. It was, like, permanent funny bone pain. So, I'm, I gotta, I wanna play more of that on streams. Uh, but at the same time, I, like, literally, it's not worth it right now. I'm not, I don't think it's a poorly made, uh, product. I think that, you know, it, I, I approached it at, at the wrong time. Unfortunately. Anyway, we're playing a different game right now. We're playing Isaac. I've been trying to mix in a little bit more variety. That's why I played, you know, premium bowling recently. Played hot lava. I enjoy, um, here's the thing. It, there's, everything in life uh, has a trade-off to some degree. You know what I mean? I will just take this mostly for the spirit art, but the luck is not bad either. We got, uh, the guppy dream is coming to pass. So thank you for that. Um, we will take this for a nice DPS upgrade when we leave the room. We will take this as well, and this as well. Why were we on... Zero HP? I don't know what happened there. I'm, I'm pleased with it, but I don't know what happened. This is an unbelievably strong run. Um, so, you know, that, that third slot on YouTube, a bunch of different games have occupied it recently. Um, Dicey, 
for a long time, Streets of Rogue for a long time. Uh, enter the Gungeon for a long time. So, it, you know, there's there's positives and negatives there. No, 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 no. And I mean this sincerely. The positive is that, well, there, there's many positives. If you like it, you get a lot of it. And it gives us time to, like, let a series grow. We really learn the game kind of inside and out um, for a lot of those games. I mean, we don't become a master. But, you know, we become, we reach a level of mastery. Um, the downside is that if you don't like it, it does cut down on the variety on the channel. The other thing is, psychologically, this is a big positive. It makes it very easy for me to figure out what work needs to be done that day. Let's drop left hand. We're good. Because um, all I have to do is look and, you know, step one is like, do I urgently need videos in any series? Like, is the backlog, you know, close to zero and something? If the answer to that question is yes, record videos for that. Then, if, you know, everything's doing well, you just go... Or if the backlog for everything's doing well, you just go, okay, which one of these three games would I like to record the most of today? And then you record that. Um, but again, the downside is a lack of variety. So I've been trying while we're kind of in a pivot point. We don't really have anything we see as being a great fit for that third section that would suck up two or three months. I'm enjoying this kind of like, let's call it a little YouTube gap year. Where I can... Uh, just play a variety of different games. Cool games. And you know, are you likely to see uh, a 1,000 episode series on premium bowling? No, but you know, you get a little bit more variety. And beyond that, we kind of expand the oeuvre. You know, of stuff that we can play on streams as well. Now, I don't know. Again, we... The Isaac backlog is disproportionately large right now. So you might be saying like, well, what are you talking about? You've been playing Bumble for three weeks. I'm recording this on Halloween. Anything can happen on Halloween. Your dog could turn into a cat. Your lunchbox could start to smell like sardines or even fly like a bat. That's paraphrasing a song that Tim Curry sang on Public Access TV. It's a great piece of media if you've never seen it. I would recommend it. I would recommend it in a big way. <laughs> what am I talking about? I don't know, dude. It's just, if you have a problem with anything in this episode, blame it on the motion sickness, okay? You know that song, Blame It on the Alcohol? Blame it on the motion sickness. I'm not myself right now. I could get loco. I might just leave with one cent. Even though there's no functional reason to leave with one penny, when instead you could donate it to the donation machine. That's, that's, uh, Cuevo Ranchero. He's gone loco. You be careful with him. I'm a bad man. I make arbitrary decisions. I might just leave that bomb just to wild out. I don't know what that means. To wild out. What does that mean to play us out? Question mark? No, 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 no. We reroll that. Oh, no! <laughs> Who would have thought? You re-roll a question mark and it becomes soy milk. What a world. That's karma, baby. Hold on. I got we're in a moving mode, so I got uh I got messages from my wife. I have to let her know I'm thankful, okay? I booked TV table assembly. Fantastic. That reviews we got for this TV table were like it could take you two weeks to assemble it yourself so that's helpful light fixtures will be installed on Monday I am now hyped yo let's go exclamation point thank you and then you give her a little emoji with the thumbs up and then you say that is exciting. Master Wordsmith. 
Yo, we actually have incredible DPS. I didn't think soy milk was gonna ruin the run. But I didn't realize we were still gonna be in a pretty good spot. Honestly, I'm willing to get wild here. Let's do it, dude. So we came back as Dark Judas. We got double damage with soy milk. We still have Ma of the Void. We can get some sweet uh, damage going on here. Hopefully some sweet... Uh, yo! Hopefully some sweet uh, demon heart action as well. Just for the record. Thank God that tears down doesn't work. <laughs> Just for the record. Uh, not a right time. To use Judas' shadow. Very dangerous time to approach the use of that item. Um, probably should have used it a lot earlier. But it's hard to argue with the... With the numbers of the situation we find ourselves in right now. All we need is a little demon heart luck via Ma the Void or even Gimpy, I suppose. And we could uh, be off to the races here. Hold on. Hold on. I'm so addled and rattled. Almost forgot about this bad boy right here. Look at that. Horf. No thank you. You know, if we're going to get weird, let's get weird. I'm feeling a little silly today. It is Halloween. I've said my piece on Halloween many times. But I also... Uh, I also find myself uh, bereft of plans tonight. And I, in a good way. Let me phrase it that way, okay? Here's the thing. No, no, no. I think our rate of fire would suffer. I'll, I'll go for the reroll there. Um, my wife likes Halloween. I just had a great idea for a Halloween costume. I go as Borat and Kate goes as my wife. There's, it, it's a built-in punchline. You can use that one yourself if, if for Halloween 2020. But I got another good Halloween costume for 2020. You just buy, and this, I love reusing things. Okay, so this is a great one for all you upcyclers out there as well. You buy those New Year's glasses that say 2020 on them, you know, they on the on the eyeballs, and uh, you wear those New Year's Day, and then for Halloween, all you have to do is put them on. When people go, "What are you supposed to be?" You go, "Hindsight." How, how about that? Catch me outside. How about that? Look. All I ask is that if you use these Halloween ideas, you give me the, the credit I deserve. I mean, that's obviously like a, an amazing pickup. Take me down to the next floor, please. I gotta tell you, this is a, an unbelievable Isaac run right now. I feel like my brain is working at like 10% capacity. And I feel like it's very noticeable as well. I, I, I'm losing trains of thought. I'm leaving items behind. And yet, every deal with the devil is just giving us, like, non-stop gasoline. We're unbeatable. But, um... What I was gonna say is my wife likes Halloween. Uh... And, and I don't really care for it. My, I don't mind Halloween, but, like, my ideal Halloween is not leaving the house. My ideal Halloween is, like, yo, what if we booted up, like, you know, a horror movie marathon? What if we, what if we watch, like, three or four horror movies? Just kidding. Unless. <laughs> okay, that's, that's a really bad start here. Do not squander the potentiality you have on this run. I would love some HP. Um, so, you know, Kate's got her own thing. She's doing like a murder mystery thing in Final Fantasy XIV tonight that she's excited about. She's been planning and put a lot of uh, elbow grease into. So I find myself bereft of plants tonight. I don't know what I'm going to do. First, we're going to take a couple of gravel, get over this uh, motion sickness. I don't know, dude. I might, get, I might go crazy and order myself a dosa. I know that that sounds like it's a joke, like a dosa what? No, a dosa is just a 
it is uh, an Indian uh, pancake stuffed with, you know, spices and vegetables. And let's get wild, dude. <laughs> Why would you ever open it? We don't even know where we stand right now. What is going on with my beam? It's like an advertisement for a lack of male performance. Let me go, please. Thank you. I mean, it, it definitely does not seem bad. In fact, it, I mean, because we're still guppy, it, it actually seems like great. Is it better than the soy milk run? I don't know. That I mean, we do have succubus, which I didn't even notice until just now, but is obviously extremely sweet. Uh, it would be very nice to see our HP, and then I'll let you know. Never mind. Um, apparently that's uh, impossible. So my mistake in the first place. Help. Help me. Well, I'm going to operate on the assumption that things, you know, are probably fine. But you could always use more HP. So if you want to put some there. Oh, we have Dark Bomb, too. Hello, sir. Thank you so much. Your Halloween homework, by the way, is to Google the video, Anything Can Happen on Halloween, Tim Curry. And then comment, who's still listening to this in 2020? Lamau. Because that's what you comment on every piece of classic music. Not classical. That's different. Although that's... I like that. What about a character? And his his thing is he goes on... Uh, you know, like... Brahms Lullaby from the year 1804. And goes, like this comment if you're still listening in 2020. Real art never dies. All these kids... All they do is listen to their Gucci gangs and their their Lil Pumps. The only pump I need is the pump in my heart when I hear Please let, let me go without hitting me again. You don't have the sack to hurt me, to be honest. That's a new guy I call classic, classical music YouTube commenter. Look, I'm here to tell you. If Saturday Night Live can make an evergreen sketch with uh, Tom Hanks wearing a wig, naming himself David S. Pumpkins and slapping people on the butt and going, Any questions? Classical music YouTube comment guy honestly might get his own standalone friggin' film. People will be going as him for Halloween next year. Mmm, nice music. Mm, you know, it would be. I liked it more when it was called mm, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. Look, I'm still workshopping the character. And also, you can't judge my comedic stylings right now. Because I have motion sickness. <laughs> it's... Sorry, Pop. I got a case of the green lung. Now, I shouldn't have said Dosa, dude. Because now I got myself all worked up in a tizzy. You know what would hit the spot right now? You said it. A Dosa. A dose of Joe. A dose of Joe what? A dose of Joe Mama! <laughs> Alright, I am playing like absolute garbage. This We've hit pure insanity on this run. A dose of D's. A dose of D's what? A dose of D's Joe. A dose of D's Joe what? A dose of D's... <laughs> Joe up, dog. What's up, dog? He's lost it. My god. I, I see your comments already. First off, like this comment if you're watching this video in 2020. Real art never dies. Secondly, my god, NL. He's finally lost his mind. I haven't lost my mind, okay? It's the motion sickness.
I would like to finish this run, though, and allow myself a little bit of time to get some sanity returned to me. Thank you. 4 HP is more than enough. We're getting a, a ton of items as well. Most of them are not really what I'm looking for, to be honest, but it's okay. Life goes on. We're going to do this with bells on. Can't see you. I think... Is that... What the heck was that? <laughs> Is that a Mongo baby shot? I have no idea. Whatever, dude. Strange run. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Thank you.